Okay, welcome to week 18, Sisyscu Sustainable Co-op and Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. We're cruising on to the end here. Two more weeks after this, so sad. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about winter squash and I'm using acorn squash, but you could easily use um, butternut squash in any of the recipes that we're gonna talk about today. Here's a butternut. Um, and the first recipe is a nice little roasted butternut squash ring, so easy. Cut your squash in half like that. Scoop out the seeds, right? Super easy. And then, put that aside. You take your squash and you cut it into, oh, this is hard. Cut it into, um, I don't know, what are these called? Spears? And I'm not doing the best job in the world. It would be really good if you could Cut them all the same thickness so they cook at the same time, okay? Then you put them on your sheet pan. I'm just going to do a little bit so you don't have to watch me cut up the whole show. And you put in a little olive oil, not too much, okay? Spread it around. I always do with my hands and they get all mucky, but that's okay. Then put on our salt. How hard is that? It's not hard at all. Pepper. Then, this is gonna make it incredible. You take a little brown sugar, you sprinkle it on, and you put it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees for five minutes, you flip it over, and then you put it in for about another 20 to 20, 20 minutes until it's tender, okay? Oops, sorry. And through the magic of television, guess what? We have some already ready for you. Hot, is that cool? And there it is. Does that look good? And, and here it is. And I'll, look at that. It's all roasted and caramelized. And I'll taste it for you because that's what I do. Mmm. Salty and sweet. Mmm. It's really good. It actually almost tastes like a pie. I had never done that before, so I didn't know how good it was going to be. Okay. Yum. The next thing we're going to do with acorn squash is I'm going to make a soup. So this morning when I was making breakfast and lunches for my kids, I cut the squash in half. I put it upside down on a sheet pan like this. And I baked it for 45 minutes at 350. So I put this, cut it in half, took the seeds out like you just saw me do. Put some water in the pan, just a little bit, and cooked it for 45 minutes until it poked, just like that, soft, with my knife. Then, and then while that was happening, over here, I already did this part. I just sauteed some onions. I know it's really hard to see, but my light's out. Sauteed some onions with some fresh ginger, turmeric, curry powder. You could put onions in there if you want. You could put leeks on the box. You could put celery from the box. You could put garlic, whatever you want. Okay? Then you take your squash and you scoop it out of the skin. Okay, I already did that earlier, so you wouldn't have to watch me. Okay. Then, you put it in the bowl, in the pot. And then I'm going to use, because I happen to have some, chicken stock. What would be really the best for this is orange juice. Um, if you happen to have that classic moosewood cookbook, they have an incredible curried squash uh, recipe in there. And I can tell you right now, that's not going to be enough liquid. I wish I had orange juice. I think I'll put a little water in. Um, you could put vegetable stock. You could do whatever you want. And then remember last week, I made that other soup with my immersion blender, so we're going to do that again. Going and have it be totally smooth or you could leave it like that. Another thing you can do um, that I often do a lot at home if I'm making super stew, I'll steam some kale or, or chard and um, 
What I'll do, which I didn't do this morning because I didn't have time. Mm. I would put like a blob of kale right there. And I made croutons because I'm kind of obsessed with croutons right now. And that's it. That's it. See you next week.